name's Leila Viner, I work for the Wildlife Habitat Protection Trust and we're here today to launch the People's Millions site that we won £50,000 for. Our changes have been fantastic. We've changed something that was just a muddy field and we've changed it into 15 raised beds. We've had got a picnic area with a cooking facility. We've got a composting area and a sensory garden as well. And the whole community can come down and use it free of charge and it's open all the time. They'll be able to garden, um, people with restricted mobility will be able to use the raised beds. They'll be able to come down in families and use the chill out zone with the picnic tables and they'll be able to use the uh, barbecue type area and they'll be able to learn about composting and about gardening generally. And they'll be able to have a wander around our sensory garden, which is going to be fantastic next year when it's all established. Um, we'll also be running workshops for them as well on gardening, composting and cooking. We launched a massive um, publicity campaign. We had um, the local papers on board, so we had articles in the paper. Um, all our local groups who used other sites we have, we told them about it and got them to vote. Also, the local scouts, brownies, other groups, we told them about it. We told everyone we could. A local postman helped us out. Um, we had flyers. Everyone we could tell, we told. My name is Craig Blakey. I'm the financial director of the Wildlife Habitat Protection Trust, and I live in Church Fenton. We're here today for the grand opening of the uh, sensory garden, and composting area and raised beds, which have all been put together with help from Big Lottery. The, the, the raised beds are going to be allocated by a local village group called ELF. Uh, everyone loves Fenton. We're going to, the Wildlife Trust are going to manage them, but ELF will allocate them to um, people who require them. The reason I am so passionate about getting kids into the countryside is that kids just don't seem to be able to get out nowadays. When we were lads, brother and myself, you could go anywhere, you could walk into the woods, you could go pick things up, go into ponds, and kids just don't do it now, and it needs to be changed. Kids need to be out of the house, off the video games, into the country, and actually doing what kids do, which is play, and learn. You learn through play, and that's, that's what we want to do. We want to get the kids out. When we were told that we'd won, it was fantastic. Words just can't explain it, because £50,000 is an awful lot of money, and the good we've been able to do here with the money is fantastic. The, it's, it's a long process to go through, and getting people to vote for you is quite um, time-consuming, but it's really, really worth it. Um, so if you are going to go for people's millions, I'd say really just go straight in and get people to vote for you. The Wildlife Habitat Protection Trust won £50,000 through Big Lottery Fund's People's Millions competition. The funding has paid for community allotment and sensory garden in Church Fenton, North Yorkshire. For more information about People's Millions, visit www.peoplesmillions.org.uk.